To ensure we can keep producing great free content, please leave a comment below or leave a question that we can help you with. Then like and subscribe for all the latest updates. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Camera settings. Well, before we go into this section, I would like to say that this is a choice factor whether you'd like to put these settings in or not. I'm just pointing them out as a general rule because they will improve the output and speed of your photography. Now the camera position, the actual app itself, you may want to move this to the docking station at the very bottom of your iPhone. Why? Just for speed of access. But you can also access your camera quickly in a couple of other ways. As we know, we can actually tap on the screen of our iPhone and uh, see at the very bottom the camera icon, which when we press will open up camera straight away. So to move the camera icon to the bottom, if you click and hold the camera icon, as we know, it has the ability to move the icon anywhere we want. So now we just drag and then we drop that down into the bottom bar. Now, as it's on the bottom bar, we can scan backwards and forwards throughout all our apps and it will remain at the bottom. Another way we can actually access our camera is to swipe down on our screen, which brings us to our control panel, and we can actually press the icon for the camera itself. So there's another quick way of doing that. So there's a couple of ways you can actually access your camera very quickly. Why do we want to do this? Well, we don't know how quickly we want to take that photo. It could be a photo of a lifetime opportunity, and you want to be able to access your camera as quick as possible. To ensure we can keep producing great free content, please leave a comment below or leave a question that we can help you with. Then like and subscribe for all the latest updates. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.